All right, this is the third video that we are making on this project. And now you're gonna see how we make a transition to the shingles to flash around a bathroom vent and a parapet wall. And I'm gonna do the, around the post here. Very important, if you wanna do a transition to a shingle roof, it's pretty easy, but there's a few things you have to know. You cannot just go on top of this, that's not gonna work. You have to remove the shingles, especially the bottom two layers. So you want to go up with a membrane, this membrane, at least two, two layers up. You cannot stop there. If you stop there, you're going to have this cut here in the, in the shingles. And you stop there, water will come in, in between the, the two shingles and go underneath this membrane. So I'm going to show it to you now. So what you're going to do is remove the... Um, Remove the, the, the nails, okay. I remove that. <coughs> yeah. Like that. Okay, so let's let's see. You remove these shingles. Oh. Alright. And you remove this. And I have a base already up here. You bring your membrane up, remove the, the plastic, and you stick it on there, just like that. At least the two layers up, and that's it. They can go more if they want to. You can go more, but it's not necessary. And then you put your shingles back. Start at the bottom. I'm not showing you how to do shingles. You show how to do transitions. I'm just showing you how to make the transition to a shingle roof, okay? So then you have to put this back. The reason why you want to go up two layers is if you don't go up two layers, look. Ah, uh, it's open. See where it is there? There's there's the, the membrane. See there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we will cover that with this. With this. That's how you make a transition. Wow. To okay. a shingle roof. All right, done. So next one. That was pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> the next one is gonna be a transition to a parapet wall. This is the trick, you have to pull it up. No, you have to have a wife to hold it. <laughs> oh, that's okay. If you don't have that a wife, you cannot get this plastic off. <laughs> Why are you using the metal? Ah, oh, drapage. Let's say you have this little wall and you have to make a transition on the wall. So you get yourself the membrane. I take my, I get myself a piece of membrane. I fit it over the wall like that. Put it down in the corner. Remove the release, release the plastic from it. Push it in the corner at the bottom. See there? Look there. It's already sticking. Yeah. Yeah, sticking. So what I do is, if it doesn't stick too well, I um, just... All right. Put it on the wall, like that. Oh, It's going to stick nice and smooth. Look at it. Beautiful. Like that, down, put this down, okay. Now you can do a primer. I'm not going to do the primer right now, I'm going to just heat it up. Beautiful. See that? And now you have a drippage on the other side, looks nice. You have your membrane on this side. Looks beautiful, look at this, beautiful. And then you can heat this up or remove the plastic. It will, with the sun, it will start sticking. Very fast. Look, Is this it's starting to stick here. I would do this just to make double sure. And that's it. That is now very well sealed. 
get it on. Pero es verdad. En some states it's super hot there, they go sticky. Yeah, but if it's cold in the winter, you need ah, you to... you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I cannot ah. get it off now. Uh, okay, there we go. And that's it. Very simple. Look at it. That's it. Yeah, I like it. Paraport like wall is done. I want to show you how to install, to make the flashing on a bathroom vent, okay? So I'm going to put the vent there. Okay. And it will last. And the material is compatible with that? It will adhere to metal, asphalt, um, some plastics. Anybody can do this, okay? I was thinking to go smaller, but no, right? No, 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 you don't want to go smaller. This is just perfect for that. Just like that. On a bathroom vent. And you remove the tape. And look how nice that is. Look, beautiful. All right, so after you did the flashing with turbo policy or wherever you did it, it's a good policy to, to cover the turbo policy with silver coat protection. All right. The reason is the ultraviolets will break this down over eight or ten years, maybe longer. Depends where the sun is, where you are in the country. But we did this this morning. Okay, you can see it's touch dry. Look how nice and smooth it is. Beautiful. We did it this morning, and it's dry. So now I can do a coat of silver coat. Just it will last longer, maybe twenty years or something. But this is what you do just like that and this is covering the the turbo poly seal against the ultraviolet that's it silver coat protection is very important to protect the uh, the turbo poly seal from ultraviolet all right thank you so i'm going to show you how to seal the bathroom vent okay just like this here's the trick you cut tabs on the halfway like tabs like this all right I take sandpaper this is just 320 but a, a coarser grit will be better just to get the plastic has like a coating on it which the turbo will not stick to it so okay I go around around the vent pipe okay look at that The vent pipe is covered with a turbo poly seal. I got one more, one more um, thing to show you how to do the flashing. And this would be the railing. This is a problem most people, or a mistake most people make. I'll show you the mistake they make. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it right. So let me remove, first you have to remove the railing. All right, there you go, here. This is called a post jacket. It's a plastic post jacket, or you can make it in wood if you want to, but it's called a post jacket. The purpose of a post jacket, let me show you, is to go over flashing. It's supposed to fit over that section there. So when water rains, it will go over this post jacket. That's the purpose of a post jacket. Now, everybody used to make these in, in copper. Very hard, uh, very uh, expensive um, thing. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this, and then we'll put the post jacket over the turbo polyfill. Let me show you. So, here's the mistake most people make. They, they put railing onto the bare post and think it should never leak. That is a mistake. I've seen many, many places where railing is onto the bare post. It's not supposed to be. I need to cut the fleece first. So, all right. So I'm gonna cut the fleece. I hold it here. All right, so let me, let me, I wanna cut the fleece on the right corners there. So, right there, right there. That should work. Almost halfway, not all the way halfway. 
you paint your um, post again same idea with every flashing it's very simple so I'll go all the way around look at that beautiful see that and your flashing is done there's faster to do this than to make copper look at it you go over there I'm, I have when you go over the fleece you have to put some material there you go post jacket over this and when you then you understand why you need a post jacket now this will work better than copper because I used to put the copper around and then it caulked the top of the copper and hope it would not leak this post jacket it's just a, a sleeve that go over the 4x4 but it's very very essential I'm going to show you why and let me I'm going to also let me add that all right I'm going to take you to another video that I made on a post jacket watch this clip and then you'll understand what I'm talking about all right you can see uh, the flashing just water can get over in there and that's what happened it's rotten on some of the posts and um, it's rotten on the other side and it's wet the transition here is not right so the right way is take the railing off completely then you get a sleeve that slides over this post over to there oh, see this is rotten hold it the post got rotten there because uh, it became this uh, the water got into behind this flashing and rocked the post and that's why you don't want to put caulking and, and, and a transition flashing you need a post jacket like this you put this cover over it and that's it you're done you've seen the clip and here's what I the same idea if you put water here and water goes down this post here it will leak here if you have copper flashing with caulking it will leak right there this is very good because the turbo poly seal sticks to the wood and it seals it so if you if you do put your uh, railing if you do put your railing against the, the bare post like that it can work if you want to do that it could work but if this wood cracks if there's a crack in the wood then water could go behind this post so it is not the best way to do it so the best way is to have a post jacket uh, a post jacket like this that goes over the flashing there just slightly over just like that and that's the best way to have it okay I got this copper now this side you can see it's coming through here you see that I don't have a finished wall on the side but I want to show you something all right so I'm gonna do this and I do this so I need to bend this I'm gonna use this to bend it okay I'm just using something to bend it all right to make it like a C or you I'm making it like a channel all right, so I'm using anything to bend it so I can put it in here, see? Look there. And I'm gonna bend it here, right there, okay? Make a mark, and so I bend that to get at least a lip on out. Just screw there. So I got this piece of metal here that's gonna hold my membrane okay okay just want to get the nail on the side there to make it flat okay to the metal so that's what I'm doing I'm heating it up attach that membrane to this metal that's already a very secure seal there but now I want to do something much better than that so again I'm gonna use okay 
All right, so I'm gonna use this uh, turbo poly seal to do the scupper because I really didn't know this product works so well. I see, sweetheart. You cannot see behind here, sweetheart. Don't understand how you say they can see it like this. Okay, so I do this. Like that. I take the fleece and voila. A transition between the okay and my scupper will bring the water further away from the wall. And when it rains, I will show you. So Look here, see the corner there, still open there, and the same on that side is open. All right, got a bigger fleece, and then I'm gonna cut a slit in here, just like this. Just a little slit, so it go around there. And then I'm gonna do the turbo poly seal, right? Okay, there we go, let's try now. You see that? Voila. Hey. And this was a tight spot to do it. But look at it, beautiful. Make that corner there very... Remember this? membrane is just folded in here and there's a void there underneath there so you need to fix you want to make sure that this corner doesn't leak so you really have to seal it so that's what i would do cut a little slit in there transition would be i cut a slit and i flap it over there like that i make this transition just like that put that tap over so we know now this corner is covered <coughs> look at it beautiful any place when you have a transition or uh, flashing use turbo poly seal it's the easiest thing to do like a scupper like that corner I'm get, I mean look at this corner here let me do this corner I don't know if I have more turbo, turbo poly seal do we have in the back there give me some sweetheart that corner will leak. Okay. Turbo poly seal. Use. I'm gonna cut myself a fleece. Very simple. Cut a slit there. I brush this on. In that corner on the wood. Just like that. put my fleece like that and that's it that corner is sealed no more leaks there and look at it beautiful watch your scupper now look how the scupper works yeah nice you like it yeah all right this is it yeah we'll Close see you there. see you bye Close the door because it's the end of the video <laughs>